Hi everybody, my name is Shirley Joppy and today I thought I would share a little bit about myself to you. A little bit more so that you can get to know me and um, maybe you'll, you'll understand a little bit more about how I have got here and, and why also sometimes I, I'm quite um, calm and quiet and other times I'm very high and hyper. So, um, yeah, so for me, I just wanted to share with you my journey of the last, very quickly, my journey of the last 10 years. So I, before, before I actually became a mum, I was really, really extrovert. I was uh, teaching aerobics regularly. I was working in a high paced, high pressured corporate environment and thriving, really, really thriving. I had endless energy. I could handle immense amounts of stress and pressure. And not only was I able to handle it, I thrived on it. I absolutely loved it. It gave me my, my sense of being, my energy. I was also doing energy work in spaces. I was doing executive coaching. Lots and lots and lots of things were going on for me. And then once I actually, um, after I had my first child, and I still carried on with that pressure, but it just got more and more and more. And now I was balancing an intense job where at that point I was running a, uh, I was CEO of an internet marketing company um, online. And... I was working with people globally. So I went from the majority of my work being through the UK daytime to my work being thrown all over the place. Uh, day, night, early mornings, I'd get up, I wouldn't be able to sleep, I'd work. I wouldn't be able to sleep, I'd work. And still, I would keep going. I thrived on the pressure. And also I thrived on the feeling of achievement, of getting things done. It was amazing. I loved it. Little did I know that what I was doing was I was setting myself up for a very, very big fall because I wasn't giving my body, I wasn't honoring my body. I wasn't taking care of my energy. And when I got pregnant with my second child, it all fell apart. My body, of course, needed to grow another human being and I got very, very, very sick. And worse than the being sick was after having lots and lots of social life, lots of friends, I went back to not being able to handle anybody, not being able to handle any people around me, being really hypersensitive to touch, um, and literally not just being introverted, but literally closeting myself off. I didn't want to go out. I want to see people it was just too much for me and it was a big shock and it continued for a good couple of years if not longer actually and it's only in the last say two or three years that I've really felt strong enough to actually get back out there and that's also why it's so important to me now to to really manage my energy and to honor how I'm feeling in the moment. I'm no longer chronically sick. And it's vitally important that I tune in to my body to know, am I in a sensitive state? Do I need peace and quiet? Am I able to handle lots and lots of people around me? And the more I do the work that I do, and the more I meditate, and the more I lift myself up, uh, spiritually, I noticed that I am able to be around people more in an easy way. And equally, I love my time on my own. So I'm not always going out and partying and putting myself in high pressure environments, putting myself in networking places, going to parties. All of these things, I now tune in and decide, is this going to be the best space for my energy to thrive and lift 
and grow? Or is this going to be something that I, some place that I will need to manage the energy, manage my energy and manage other people's energies? Because part of being the introverted extrovert is that I'm an empath. So I, I tend to go into space and transmute energy. And it's only recently that I've learned how to do that without any adverse effects. And sometimes I slip. And I still do it. I still find myself going into a space and then suddenly picking up a headache or suddenly I will be talking to someone and they'll say to me, oh, I don't have backache anymore. But me, I've, I've got it because I've taken it on. And I have to keep reminding myself of that. So really, my, my the reason I came on here was for you to realize that however spiritually elevated you get there is, there are undulations there are ups and downs so when you're looking at someone and, and you're thinking oh they're they're really amazing don't think that they don't get angry sometimes don't think they might not get sick sometimes it always happens does that mean there's any anything um that you, sh you should be judging about them they're human and everybody has ups and downs what you'll notice on social media is you see the ups, you only see the ups, or you'll be shown the downs because they make a good story. So I'm just being really real with you here, guys. Everybody is a human being and we all can learn from each other. So that's just a little bit about me. And if that touched you, if that resonated with you, if you'd like to share anything, I'd love to hear from you and I'm preparing this evening for a meditation evening for um, friends to come around. So I'm actually going to go now, I'm going to do some meditation. I'm going to gather my energy back in because I've been doing work all day. So my energy has been, been sending out to the universe. So I'm going to be gathering my energy back in so that I can spend a lovely, lovely evening with my friends. And I hope you have a lovely evening too. And I will be speaking with you very soon. I haven't forgotten the Black Friday offers. Stay tuned. They are coming. Um, probably tomorrow morning. So they're, not gonna be, they're gonna be Black Weekend, Black Friday weekend, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you'd like to call it. Um, but yeah, there's some special offers coming for, for you from me. And if you're in the UK, a couple of events as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a very small intimate meditation evening to, on next Thursday. The Thursday afterwards, I'm going to be inviting people for a gifting and receiving bars session, access bars. So if you've not had access bars before and you're in the North London area, we're going to be doing gifting and receiving. That means there will be practitioners here and we just swap. So you can experience those bars, uh, the bars very easily. And then finally, at the end of November, if you're around, please join me at my large live event where we'll be making some amazing magic and, and showing you how to let your dreams come true. And there'll be some offers for that coming up. So thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for listening. And I hope you have an absolutely blessed Friday. Thanks, Prashant. Thanks, Viviana. And thank you to everybody else.